Making sure that drone operators understand the law is really, really important. I mean, even if all they knew was don't go above 400 feet and don't fly in controlled airspace, uh, we'd be winning a huge battle. But you're gonna see in this video that there was a drone operating in the traffic pattern at Hayward Airport when I was over there with a student and I am committed to getting the information out uh, that this is illegal and that this is unsafe so I've enlisted the help of some friends. Um, Flight Chops helped me put together this video. Um, check this out. This comes from an app that we're working on to help drone operators understand the law. Check it out and let me know what you think. I was flying with a student from San Carlos to Hayward and there was a drone operator who was flying where he shouldn't have been and was putting quite a few people at risk. Uh, Hayward, how there's a drone at uh, 700 feet, Fort Victor. Question for you, Victor. Do you have a report of where the drone is and about how high up it is? Yeah, it was just south of the mall and then uh, about 700 feet. So a pilot has noticed that there's a drone that has violated Hayward's airspace and is flying where it shouldn't be. The drone pilot could have done this legally, but he didn't. And he's now flying the drone in a position where airplanes turn for their final approach. Sir, can you do a six pop? Uh, do you have time for, I, can I ask you a favor? Sure. Normally chatter on the radio is kept to a minimum. But this is something that the FAA control tower just couldn't ignore. So we broke protocol to help the tower figure out where this drone was. There's a reported drone about 700 feet. If you're able to look out and just let me know if you can verify that for me. Uh, Affirmative. 06 Papa will be looking. Uh, Hayward Tower, Cherokee 06 Papa has a drone in sight on the uh, west side of the uh, mall. It's probably at about, I'd say, 800 feet. The control tower then proceeded to warn all the pilots on the frequency about the drone, in some cases even move them out of the way, and begin asking them for descriptions of what the drone looked like. Do you, do you know what color the drone was? Uh, I think the drone was white when we saw it for Victor. Uh, for Victor, do you happen to know how many rotor blades this drone had? Four. For Victor. Thank you, gentlemen. The next voice that you hear on the frequency is actually mine, because this hits close to home for me. I fly in this airspace all the time. I just wanted to make sure that the FAA was on it, and they were. Uh, yes, sir. When you guys get a report of a drone operating one mile east of the airport, does somebody start uh, some sort of chain reaction that gets law enforcement out there looking for them? Yes, yeah, please, we're notified they're looking for the uh, drone. Okay, thanks. Roger that. So this could have ended very, very badly. The drone operator could have been charged hundreds of thousands of dollars, potentially thrown in jail, and somebody might have died or been hurt. So this is something that we really want to help you avoid, and we're going to teach you throughout this course how to do that.